Welcome into the BSN Rockies weekly breakdown presented by Frosted Leaf. Frosted Leaf, Denver's most innovative dispensary, has the hottest strains, no lines, no weight, and a self-paced direct shopping experience that allows a fast yet comfortable transaction without the awkwardness of a waiting room. I'm Allie Monroy and alongside me is BSN Rockies beat writer Drew Creaseman. The Rockies just finished up a frustrating road trip going 3-3. Three and three. Drew, how important is this 10-game homestand? Well, it's a really important one, Allie. They probably can't blow their season unless it's completely terrible, but all division games, they got the Giants, the Dodgers, and the Diamondbacks. Those Dodgers and Diamondback games are going to be about as important as they come. If they take care of business in those games, that could be their key to winning their first division title ever. If they just kind of go even on this homestand, they're still in it. They've still got a path for the division or the wild card, but this is their chance to go and take it, not have to leave it up to other teams to beat the Dodgers or the Diamondbacks or the teams in the wild card for them. This is their opportunity to win it themselves. Quite simply, can this offense get things going and be consistent? Well, that has been the million dollar question all season, Allie, and we're still waiting to see if that's going to happen. I think they're going to be better down the stretch. I think the slumps that we saw out of Charlie Blackman, Trevor Story, and Nolan Arenado in particular have been unsustainable. I suspect all of those guys will finish the season strong. The offense as a whole is still going to struggle. Look, this was always a team that was going to win with pitching and defense, but the offense I think is going to be a bit better. The Rockies just need their stars to show up. That's the key. Blackman, Story, Arenado show up. One of those guys makes a strong case for an MVP finish, then yeah, they'll be just fine. Like you just mentioned, are there any Rockies with a chance to win some hardware besides Nolan or Charlie? Well, Nolan's going to win his gold glove. We know that. There's one we <laughs> always know. But uh, beyond that, there are some interesting ones. Yes, Arenado should be in MVP conversations, but you know what? So should Trevor's story. Be on the lookout for a strong finish from him. He has a chance to have a 30 home run, 30 stolen base season, finish hitting over 300, and get nominated for a gold glove at shortstop. Also, and this is crazy to say, don't totally count out Kyle Freeland for the possibility of at least being mentioned in the Cy Young. He's probably not going to win one. Look, it's not going to happen. But... He's going to be in the conversation, and even that, I think, should be a big deal for Rockies fans. So you have your normal gold gloves, maybe two MVP candidates, but a Cy Young candidate for your Colorado Rockies. How about that? Well, like we mentioned, a crucial 10-game homestand coming up, so be sure to catch all of our game coverage on bsnrockies.com. For Drew Creaseman, I'm Ali Monroy, BSN Denver. Come check out Frosted Leaf's three Denver locations and download their app on both Apple or Android. You can also follow them on Snapchat or Instagram at Frosted Leaf Brand.